you know, when I heard about what it's actually doing, it's timely. And I it's the only program of its kind nationwide in our Bronx Anti-Violence Initiative called Teen Accountability Program, or TAP, that focuses on protecting girls and young women from abuse in the home, received a $90,000 grant from New York State Assemblywoman Latoya Joyner, a grant that will work to expand the program founded by Steps to End Family Violence, which targets young men from the ages of 16 through 19 who agree to take the organization's 12-week court-appointed course. This initiative is, you know, a holistic approach of we're to you know, addressing the abuse and also the abusers, many of whom have been abused themselves. After hearing the program was underfunded, Joyner, a staunch advocate for victims who face abuse in the home and who helped pass legislation that allows the public to file an order of protection electronically. So basically you can Skype in and speak to a judge in a safe place. Is confident the grant will further bring help to all those involved in disputes. We have high numbers of domestic violence incidents, and I feel like this will help us start at the bottom of really addressing these issues. The court, um, and myself in particular, are thrilled and want to thank you so much for... She was surrounded by directors of the program, as well as peer counselors, who say they've seen how the tools they teach can make a difference. I have witnessed people that are, I'm close to, like friends, that I have had this type of deal with and I have helped them and I have seen them change over time. I've seen them come out of their block that was blocking them and they have seen things from a different perspective. We had a whole bunch of middle schoolers last year and we do our conference at the end of the summer. They led a workshop, they spoke up in front of I think around close to 50 people. It was just amazing and I knew they'd go and bring it back to their schools as well. It's really important to get them when they're young. We can't imagine ending intimate partner violence without meaningfully and authentically engaging those people who are causing harm to their intimate partner. And if we can start as early as possible, all the better. In the end, the goal of this program is to get people to talk, to talk on an individual level and a community-wide level. The hope is that this will help to reduce violence. For Bronxnet, this is Arlene Makoko.